can you first explain how um, how it started, as in the competition, uh, and how you developed, how you won the comp competition? What was the process of um, of the competition and everything? Oh well, it started. It was an invited competition okay. with. Um, it was a tendering process. Yes. Okay. And uh, so it was a um, it was an invited competition. It was, if I remember correctly, five firms invited to compete, and the brief was to basically uh, create a new uh, performing space for the college because the existing one, the Christopher Lee Theater was only 350 seats capacity and they wanted something instead to be able to host the all uh, uh, college, all the students at least in the Monday morning assembly. Mm -hmm. So the reality is that it's the, the capacity they requested of uh, 1,400 uh, people was withstanding uh, people at the back simply okay. because I mean the Monday morning um, uh, the Monday morning assembly is uh, something that lasts for half an hour one hour so you can afford having people like standing at the back and then they wanted like a 900 uh, seats capacity they wanted to be linked to the existing uh, theater that following the brief of the competition had to be uh, repurpose into uh, rehearsal studios and uh, black box. Okay. Uh, so that was the initial brief. This was the competition. The competition was, uh, I mean, it happened mid 2014. Uh, it took a few months, then it took a few months to award Studios I Learn. And then once that happened, uh, the office moved to the concept design and from there to um, uh, two stages tender process that then led to a design and build uh, contract. Okay, so what's the capacity, current capacity? Is the it current 900? Uh, 900, sets. yes. 900 uh, seats and 1,400 uh, with people standing at the back, both on the stalls and... Uh, the circle. And all the seats are fixed? Yes. Uh, at the end, uh, there was uh, a bit more flexibility uh, in the initial design, but then the VE process mm -hmm. led to fixed seats. They are the, anyway, uh, the first four rows are removable in an easier way than other seats. I mean, you can actually remove all the seats, uh, but the first four rows are more easily removable because they uh, are on top of the orchestra pit, which is uh, in front of the stage, of course. So. Okay, so two-stage uh, tender. Mm -hmm. And do you know why you won the, com like the tender process? Well, I guess we, we had the winning... Uh, the winning scheme, the winning idea. It was like a um, uh, challenging side. And uh, because of many reasons, we can talk about them. And I mean, it was, it's a site on uh, different levels. Mm -hmm. I mean, the back of the... Um, the back of the theater is in fact much taller than the front because it is on a, it sits on a slope, but it's a complicated site above all because it is inside an historic campus. Mm -hmm. It is inside the Victorian campus of Wellington. It is close to a part of the campus that actually is from the 70s, which is like more like of a functional modernistic st uh, style mm. and uh, not only that it is also uh, on the edge of the forest which is on the south side of okay. the campus itself so we had to deal with all of these uh, factors surrounding uh, the selected site and they tried to go for planning previously uh, for a performing 
space here, but the real problem was the bulk of the building. Um, the capacity they wanted, 100 and, uh, sorry, 1,400 seats, I mean, kind of creates a fairly bulky building. Yeah. Uh, and it was difficult to find something that was marrying the site, that wasn't too uh, imposing on the forest and on the uh, Victorian buildings of the campus. And I think two key ideas uh, sold uh, the scheme. One is that uh, it is a circular building. The circular building not just brings something to the experience inside, uh, that you have inside the performing space mm -hmm. itself, because I mean, it kind of goes back to a, uh, a Greek theater. It creates like more of a collegiate uh, atmosphere inside where there is visual interaction, mm -hmm. where there is like a proximity to the stage. But it also creates like a building that from the outside has no, no edges, no corner, and it kind of fades more nicely uh, against the background. So yeah. is, I guess, I think the expression we used throughout the project was that it was like perpetually recessing into the background, yeah. which I really love this expression. <laughs> and this was the first idea. So this is already kind of making the volume more gentle inside the campus. Did you also want to replicate the, the shape of a trunk? Because obviously you're, you said you're near the forest and there's loads of trees around us, around the site. Was it the intention? Because the facade also is a, is the color of a trunk, of a, yeah, a, a tree, so. I don't think we wanted to replicate a trunk. I think we wanted to really blend with the forest. It's true okay. that it is the, chorus of the, the, the color of the trunks of the tree. Mm. And it is in fact what drove the, uh, the selection yeah. uh, for the cladding material, the, the pattern of the cladding material, um, the fact that you have this sort of vertical pattern that somehow echoes the, uh, the trunks yeah. behind the theater. So, and so I wouldn't say that we went for a trunk, but we went like for this forest feeling yeah. uh, with the cladding. And another th move that we made to make the building even lighter, uh, talking about the exterior and the cladding, is that we lift the cladding. Mm -hmm. We kind of put like these circulation or glaze around the perimeter of the building. So you kind of have this feeling of this big volume that is like hovering yeah. uh, above the landscape. Interesting. I didn't and I guess realize that it. this is, I believe, what won. I'm mean, not, I believe, I, this is what. Uh, got us the the project what really sold it uh, for planning 